Hello, welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gaming Token. Welcome to episode 6 of uh, Let's Play Europa Universalis as Florence with the ambition of recreating the, Ho the Roman Empire, not the High Roman variation. And uh, doing Mare Nostrum achievement, which means taking entire Mediterranean and Black Sea coastline. Now in the last episode I was uh, playing rather badly, and I feel guilty about it. We only took Lucca from uh, Lucca and Modena, mm, a rather rich province, useful, and uh, we have also had a change in the government. We have lost our groomed leader. Now we have Mr. Savonarola, a leader from the event, which has been thrown at us. We were in a war with uh, Castile and Aragon, and that uh, on the French side, and that conflict was brutal. Now, the Pope was on the French side. Now the Pope is on uh, Britain's side, as the French have begun a new war, and this means we will most likely fight the Pope ourselves soon enough, as they get weakened by our enemies. Now we are going to move into the Central Italy state. As you can see, it encompasses the majority of what we need to recreate Italy. And we are going to form the Italian nation, as it's a very good uh, state with great ideas. Now we need uh, Milan, Modena, Verona, Mantua, Siena, Rona, Roma, of course, and Ancona. Now Siena is right here, so we're going to take it. Ancona is here, so this is a target. Mm, what else? Milan, Mod mm, Verona, of course, and Modena, Mantua. So these four are in the Roman Empire, Holy Roman Empire for the time being. And they are, of course, targets of our future invasions. Uh, which will take a moment, but we will get them. Now, with that being said, we are going to take uh, Ancona, obviously for ourselves in this conflict and then move on and see what's going to happen next. It would be nice to take uh, Napoli. Oh, uh, this treatment is done with so we can engage in war against these people. And clergy demand provinces again. Oh, clergy. How is it happening constantly that you demand more and more? Well, let it be as they say going to pay you Adam but that is enough we need to find a new way of actually uh, dealing with this problem now we can go to war with Tripoli vassalize them feed them land but it's no it's really a mute point at this moment and stage the Moroccan alliance with Tunis is still alive so we'll have to wait for the Portuguese to make a move and then we will benefit on that war continue our politics of opportunistic expansion and yeah we need more transport ships interesting what happened Venice you are no longer trade league oh that's disappointing I see the Hungarians have taken a nice swath of land and they are now my enemies, I suppose, as the East Adriatic state would mean that they will be looking rather hungrily on our lands. Well, that complicates things. Venice was a more predictable enemy. Now we have to deal with someone far more dangerous. This is a very juicy target. Genoa. Papal state. Chevan, okay, so war with the papers. Oh, this is uh, unfortunate. Ferrara declared war on Luca, so they will take Modena. Okay. We have hundreds, so we can pay with Republican traditions in this event. We will expel Medici supporters and keep Mr. Savonarola in check as he's uh, rather competent and don't want to really uh, cut uh, our point game uh, too much. And we will exchange land force limit 
to morale of others because it is superior indeed. We need more cavalry at this point, I suppose. Yes, we have only 5,000 cavalry. We need to move these troops and get some reinforcements. Now, the Pope is out of the conflict. Genoa, Genoa is their ally. I think that war with Pope is right now out of the question. But Genoa is a different story entirely. We will, of course, make a claim on, the Pope, on Pope's lands, as well as on Siena, and start building a claim on Genoa. It would be nice to get the trade province. And finally, Shadow Kingdom... We could no longer be the part of the empire. Nassau and uh, Nassau won't like us. So the protection of the emperor is not really worth much right now because the Austrians are no longer part of the empire. They are ruled by the Hunyadis. They are in alliance with uh, Hungarians, so the Hungarians have managed to influence Austria. So the empire does not really concern us, I suppose. Let's see. Yes, most definitely, the empire does not concern us. And with that being said, it means that it's time to go uh, ballistic in northern Italy and start building our Italian state. So that will be our new agenda. We will wait with another Balkan conflict. I mean, we can't really move into Balkans right now. Did they manage to Christianize them? No, then, and they're not even trying. So we will uh, take Bosnia for ourselves once we have managed to actually take humanism ideas and become a little more tolerant towards heretics. So ecumenism will be required. Now, other thing in other news, uh -huh. Corsica is basically free. We can take it, no problem at all. Same for Siena. Yeah, so the uh, Shadow Empire has finally launched. It changes a lot with Ethiopia. This is good. Ethiopians might actually crush them. So, is it the time to move against Mamluks? So, Scotland. Who is Scotland independent? Never mind, I must have misunderstood something. Oh, again I clicked a little too fast and this is what I get for my impatience. So, yeah, our fleet ship is... Uh, trading uh, fleet, excuse me, is being built. This is a problem. We are losing points. We need a war with Tunis or Mamluks. Mamluks are weaker than Tunis, I think, right now. Let's check it out. Military armies. Rivals. So they have 22,000 troops and no reserves. This means that uh, war with uh, Mamluks <coughs> is actually welcome. Surprising turn of events, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are moving towards a war with the Mamluks. God knows how will this end, but let's hope it's going to end rather nice. So we have almost a 40 tradition. Oh, finally they'll be loyal. Nice. Could we get a levy? No, we could actually 2000 manpower for them for free let's get general we need a new one and this is bad but better than no shock at all shock is right now the king of the value so uh need cavalry just one more infantry and then we'll see let's speed up a little bit take our new trade ships friendlies can attach and protect trade in Genoa. This looks tempting, but no, we need trade in Genoa because this is our main trade node. 
as you can see two ships made quite a difference in terms of income so yeah our troops are being reunited excellent soldiers you go bros cities demand all rights 10 republican tradition for loyalty but god damn it let it be and finally we are done with burgers as a problem but this was expensive and we don't have the best military point income so this is actually a problem now what is the mamluk navy because the army is weak but navy well just as weak we are going to crush them rather decisively I only hope that our friends from uh, why are you not moving Medici agencies again Jesus why why are they so focused it's been already like 80 diplo points and really have better things to do with our diplo points than spend them on that and yeah a galley to hunt pirates is necessary Apparently we have missed it and again we are getting devastation in our region. So no more prosperity. What about you Mr. Savonarola? Well you are certainly going to lead our armies then. Uh, turns out you are going to be the most competent of men. And the most useful one as well. So congratulations on your promotion I should say. interesting France is a great power yeah they managed to break an alliance 500 development now a face nice so a cool humanist event even if we don't have humanist developed because we are behind in tech right now due to some uh, blobbing problems with co province costs like 200 points for Palermo so having humanists has managed to convert uh, Tumbakt into Catholic which is awesome let's declare war on the Mamluks take Genoa of course as a claim and see what happens okay uh, clergy robber barons good okay so we are keeping the knife's edge balance again disloyal burgers and we want to keep them loyal for once so we could pay 37 ducats for their loyalty and i think that's the deal we're going to take well this hasn't been quite a while now and we are going to get the blow points out of it risky but necessary we really want to get those points back we spent a lot on development to keep uh, different people loyal it wasn't the most uh, economic deal but i hope it's going to be worth it these people are going to protect the genoese trade again and yes we are entering war with the mamluks I hope the Ottomans, uh, the Ottomans are busy with fighting a rather strong Georgia, surprisingly enough. And Timmies are here. So now they will be rather busy. What's the army of Mamluks again? Not navies, excuse me. Armies and uh, 19,000 with 37 force limit potential. Problem. Uh, what are the allies? Ajaran and Wasangali, and we don't know what these states uh, army size are, are because we haven't discovered them yet. So I think the war with Mamluks, although tempting, is right now out of the offer. Supporting the independence of Cyprus. Good luck on that. So we are being a little cock blocked regarding uh, invasions. And we are seemingly going up and about between one and the other option. Let's move to Sicily. Uh, excuse me what I'm saying. Sardinia and get Corsica for ourselves. Then move to Genoa. Finally. And these allies uh, problem. The papal state is the biggest problem of all the three. They are the most powerful state in here. Genoa is 
a hugely valuable province. I don't know, I'm not recall correctly. Yeah, they, uh, they are needed for the Italy restoration. So yeah, let's, let's do it like that. Let's spend another Diplo points on the Medici. Let's go to war. Let's get Mr. Orsini here. Let's move our uh, war navy as well to take control of this land. Get war taxes. And get rolling with invading Corsica. Because that's what we need to do. Good, and there we go. Corsica invaded. Our fleet, our army, although this is surprisingly enough, we don't have the straits penalty. I don't know why. So a stack wipe. Uh, siege is commencing, so this is nice. And Genoa is our next target. They are being weakened by rebels as we speak. Shervan doesn't matter. The Pope does. They are the only one that does. We could break an alliance with the Pope that way. And uh, yeah, I suppose moving our forces to Southlands will be of good taste in this case. Yes, you can go home to war, you can go home to war as well. And I think a few more barks to improve our trade a little further will be of good taste. Uh, so, yeah, unfortunately we were moving from one option to the other regarding any... Oh, interesting, Nassau, still as the Emperor. Where is... Yeah, there it is. Uh, great, good luck with being the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire with Bohemia of this side. I'm sure you'll have an easy time. So, yeah, we had some problems with uh, choosing a direction of the offensive. It's never easy when you are playing a state that cannot really enact its own policies with its force and power. Interesting. Following months and years after Savonarola's gentle, Savonarola's gentle guidance, the people are becoming discontent. No judgment day, city is not burned. <laughs> exactly, yeah, uh, they followed his vision so they are not convinced really. Prove his divine protection, it is being demanded of him that he does the trial by fire. He will have to pass through a great bonfire like one of those he so eagerly lit in the streets. God's protection will be evident, if not his enemies will have their way and burn him at the stake. So, Mr. Savonarola might not lead our armies in the end. Okay. Interesting, one stability. I think I'll go for this. 2% chance that he will succeed and let's see. Uh, yeah, terrible ruler. Oh god, 0 0.050 and yeah, well, uh, unfortunate. But we'll have to deal with that man and get rid of him as fast as possible. This is alarming. We really need to do something about uh, this military state situation we are in. Get Republican tradition. Now we actually need points because this man is horrible at what he does. We don't want him to lead. Okay. Uh, pa -pa -pa. Ally of France. I don't really want Mr. Xavier Stewart to join us. Uh, Niccolo Machiavelli, a philosopher or a statesman? Well, we have a good theologian. I would want to have a writer of this caliber, a political writer like that in our state. I think a statesman is far more valuable right now. Two points in Diplo. As we have theologian covered and we can always use and advisors from the clergy. Uh, with that being said, the goddammit Corsica is being very stubborn, so to speak. Interesting. Okay, let's move. And uh, finally, it took ages. 
the papal state opinion will be reduced yeah well I think Pope that our alliance won't last especially that we're interested in going to war with Genoa oh how dare you do you have excommunicated me let's see how you like that perhaps we managed to get the con control of the Pope after all As looks attractive, but no Ottomans. Do they like us? Allied to rival. Improved relations. I don't think we can actually get the Ottomans to like us that much. So both these missions are bad. And Mr. Medici, you're going to leave the troops. The Pope broke the alliance anyway, so I suppose it's... Uh, Time to go to war with the, tape, the Pope. Quite unfortunate. It looked like a good deal, but after all, we are going to war with the Pope. They have 10 trade ships. We need to build our fleets a little bigger. And we are losing money. But regardless, time to end this charade. Get Corsicans to pay up. Venice, Hungary, the Papal States. Never mind. Good. Corsica is ours. Now the big move. We need to improve relations with Hungary and with uh, Venice. Venice a little later. Supporting independence of Cyprus. Who is supporting their independence? Let's see. Ottomans. Oh, I don't want to get involved with Cyprus. I don't care. Yeah, get defenses, Messina. That makes Sicily a really powerful fortress of ours. Good. So uh, we could invest a little bit, and it's certainly worth it, especially with Dubrovnik. Uh, what about barracks? Well, yeah, that, that's very tempting, but now we uh, have to keep that money because we're going to war with Genoa and Mainz is a problem. Okay. Well. The French will help us in this war, I assure you. And we will look in the meantime for some additional allies. Tripoli. Savoy. Well, Savoy as an ally, yes please, they are uh, relatively useful. Like Byzantium still exists. 1492. Exciting. Okay, so Savoy is now our ally. What about Tripoli? They could be our ally. Would they accept vassalization? Never. So never mind. The estates are lo losing loyalty. We need to go to war ASAP. About them time, so to speak. So Savoy and perhaps only the French will be enough. A little bit of manpower should convince them. Especially that they owe us a lot of favors after all. Yeah, no reason not to call the French anymore, yes? Excellent, so... Hello, Pope. I think we're going to visit you in kind. Take Genoa. First and foremost, move to Pope's area. Now, you should retreat. God damn it, that Pope Navy. We need to control ourselves and our coastline and crush our enemy okay you should be fine trade ships won't destroy you so you should escape and take shelter go home at war and friendlies can attach done battles happening placate ottomans now why on earth would I be placating Ottomans is beyond me at this point. Same reward for two different missions, not, not particularly interesting.
Oh yeah, of course. The, the man is too stupid to declare the state a statue of restraint of appeals. And there you go. Papal fleet is exterminated. We control it completely. The armies will be taken. Ten trade ships destroyed. A lovely day. Now where are you moving now? Barbary coast. Let's pay you a visit, Mr. Pope. Let's pay you a visit in kind. Uh, so they are escaping, but they really can't do it. Now can they? Uh, they are fleeing, but they won't be able to flee. Soon enough they'll be have to leave the Mediterranean and... That won't work well for them, I assure you. We took every precaution to make sure that the enemy fails. We're moving straight for Rome. Rome is the price right now. The French will deal with the Genoese with ease. And keep chasing, please. Let's hunt for pirate, for not for pirates, but for the pap papal troops. Hunt enemy fleets in the Mediterranean should be enough. And yes, beautiful. Thousand troops killed for from the Pope's troops. Excellent reinforcements being sent. Carpet sieging is operational as a procedure. Excellent. So twelve thousand troops already sieging Rome. I s I suppose we could get rid of two thousand and send them into a safer area. Pope is losing his ships. This is grand. This will cause some war exhaustion, unfortunately, but it's worth it. We'll crush the stranglehold on uh, Italy by the, from the Pope, and this is amusing. Considering the fact that we are at war with the Papal State, we still have become the Papal Controller. How is that possible is beyond me, but it is possible nonetheless. With that being said, let's, let's compose ourselves and let's order the Pope to send excommunication or crusade on another target. When does it expire? 1493, so we will choose Mamluks as the next target for the excuse me for the crusade now we can't remove excommunication ourselves from ourselves which is uh, a bummer and yes this is excellent let's do some looting of the Pope's lands Good, tasty, healthy. Lakkan separatists, 80,000, uh, 11,000 Lakkans. Now we could increase autonomy in the province, or we could deal with the 11,000, and I think I'll deal because the French are nearby, they might actually intervene. We want this ASAP, we want to be ahead of tech. So humanist ideas are growing more and more difficult to get. Uh, diplomacy is starting to look much more, uh, shall we say, enticing. Mm -hmm. I think we actually might to move to diplomacy after all, as an idea group and take humanist third. Population 25%. Uh, yeah, we will do that. Our expansion direction currently is favoring uh, excuse me, yeah, our expansion direction is currently favoring Italy, so humanist and the lands of uh, Mamluks are not a priority right now. England, again, an option to fight against. Okay, where is our fleet? Uh, perhaps it's time to move to Roma and Napoli, siege them, get it over with. 
Still off someone's. Never mind. Oh, never mind. This can join our main navy. Yes, we can uh, detach. Excuse me. No, we can detach our trade ships and move to Genoa again to increase profit. Now we don't need the transport fleet. There can be they can be sent away as well. Well, good luck with sieging Messina. It will take you ages to do so. I think we should be able to take Rome a little faster than that. Now uh, we need diplomats to improve relations with Hungary. Excuse me, and uh, Venice. We don't want to call it. Well, there's no point in really doing this one. Uh, what's the opinion of other states about this? The Savoyards like us. Milan does not. We we'll need to improve relations with Milan then. They are Republic, Ambrosian Republic, of course. Interesting kind of a government uh, that won't work well in the long run. So yeah, Rome is slowly falling into our control. It would be nice to make purple state a vassal, but uh, never mind. It's it's a moot point at this stage. We are just going to increase income get done with Corsica Western Mediterranean Islands we should give it to one of the estates I don't know which one though there will be a lot of changes after this war Genoa should probably go to the burgers and I don't think we're going to actually fight the Pope that much oh this isn't cool Mainz and Shivan has actually moved its troops here, all the way from Caucasus. Wow, I'm I'm honestly surprised they managed to do that, and they were willing to go the extra mile, so to speak. The rebels have unleashed. Let's. Wow, that was fast. It only took them a year to take one of our most fortified areas in the country. Yeah, the rebels are down. Okay, let's move and uh, take Messina back then. And Burgundy. Interesting. Who is now the leader of Burgundy? This is confusing. I see the Gelra uh, Gelr is blobbing a little bit in the area. Uh, never mind about Burgundy. They are a history, and that's where they belong. We need to send our troops here to really to 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 to, to excuse me to our. Va oh no, we don't really need care about Bosnia. Uh, prestige is cheaper so yeah uh, winning against uh, Genoa taking what we really need and in that case if anyone's wondering it is of course the pivotal and superiorly important Genoa uh, trade note province we'll take it uh, then of course it's one of those elements we require a battle in the mountains, not exactly in our favor, but we have the numbers and morale advantage as you can see. Otherwise tech is similar. So we're going to win this rather convincingly. Yes. And take back Messina. Okay, Venice in alliance with Pope, that's new. Finally courthouse is ours, more states available. Uh, although Lazio Campania doesn't really interest, uh, interest us. The Act of Uniformity enacted. Uh, Tripoli could be moved to Christianity. And uh, that could actually be valuable if we get it right. After all, religion does affect uh, goods produced. And we want to be as strong tra economically as possible. So we will actually pay it and get that missionary involved uh, 55 months is good enough i suppose 
going to get rich from uh, all this Pope land. We lost the general. The one which we weren't using really. So no harm done there. And good. I suppose this is the end of the war. Already dealt with. Pope. With the Pope. I don't know how will this affect our papal influence afterwards. We are going to this, I suppose. We don't really care about Aragon in the slightest. Okay, so our truces with Tripoli are over. It's the same with Siena. So we could take Siena and finish with uh, the Tuscan state. They don't have any allies as well, so that is an advantage. Now, let's get Pope out of this conflict. What nations can we release? Province. Do we want them to release province? We don't. Province would be good for French, not for us. Obino, yes. Naples, it's a little too much. What kind of a coalition can we expect? A big one. Definitely a rather big one. If we go against the Pope. Uh, we could give this to the French, but that's not in our best interest. We could make the Pope transfer the trade power and release Urbino as an independent state, but I don't think this is really worth it. I suppose they'll just ruin the deal and get back under Pope's influence. We need that ex aggressive expansion. Now, Venice, Hungary, Papal State, Ferrara, Lucca. That would mean a coalition. Uh, Hungary is the biggest problem here. But that is something we want to take. Although it's not crucial, Genoa will be very expensive, so let's keep it that way and just get uh, trade power and money from the Pope. Good, and uh, regarding Genoa, I think we need to make... Uh, okay, this is looking good. We need to move to our navy. It's not navy. Um, what am I talking about? I need to move our forces to Bosnia and Dubrovnik and take the Balkans back. Before the enemy has any funny ideas and notions about what he can actually do. Okay, this is nice. Maintenance modifier down. A church is uh, not really worth it. Uh, this is worth it. And very perspective wise. Um, nope. Barry is great and we need that manpower very very badly so here we go we're sending the entirety of our army to Balkans right now and we'll see what happens that Hungarian neighborhood is not in the best taste okay let's go and uh, hello general what about uh, this now this is a problem Everyone will hate us, including Austria. And we need to... Well, we can't really improve relations with Austria now, can we? We can try. We'll see what will that give. Oh, this isn't good at all. And Milan is uh, the player that we can perhaps persuade to move to our side and even ally. Though they are allied with Savoy, playing these two against one another could be good. This certainly shows that we are outstaying our welcome in Italy regarding conquest there. So we need to think about another avenue and there we go, this is our avenue. Uh, Pope, please announce the crusade against the Mamluks. Thank you. We'll show you guys who's real Christian here. Now, Ma where is Mainz? And well, okay, well, I will get money from Mainz, so that's good. So we get, he's got five points, and we need he'd get three more, so he'd have uh, five plus three is eight. Or we could get someone with six. We have uh, 
it will take ages to get decent military stats and that's not a problem okay let's take ammo we'll use that to actually buff our duplo points and get those ideas rather fast this is the only saving grace for that man okay this is nice again genoese are god damn it why are they suddenly in the south of Italy? As soon as we deal with this, we are moving to Italy and we are dealing with these people. But it's no problem. Extending this conflict only proves to be beneficial for us, ladies and gentlemen, as we can, in fact, uh, get Genoa without a major coalition. It's Versberg against this as well. Oh yeah, they are hired by Mainz, so the moment we get Mainz out of this conflict, uh, the problem's done. And Bosnians are doing a good work here. They could be doing a little better. Okay. Good, and uh, yeah, we definitely need diplomats. That Pope control will be super useful. As it reduces aggressive expansion and that will allow us to take uh, Genoa without inciting everyone into a coalition so it's great that we have managed to get it when we have with that being said let's get uh, back our lands and get to war with the Ottomans awesome relentless drilling and our morale is peerless right now we need to put a fort somewhere in here I think we lack the manpower. Putting out system of influence of 59%. And they are losing. Oh, damn it. This is a problem. We need to deal with these people fast. So, yeah, Genoa, we are finishing the. Com is the main stake? Yeah, it is. Let's get these people out of this war. Hello, welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Gaming Token. Welcome to episode 6 of uh, Let's Play Europa Universalis as Florence with the ambition of recreating the, Ho the Roman Empire, not the High Roman variation. And uh, doing Mare Nostrum achievement, which means taking entire Mediterranean and Black Sea coastline. Now in the last episode I was uh, playing rather badly, and I feel guilty about it. We only took Lucca from uh, Lucca and Modena, mm, a rather rich province, useful, and uh, we have also had a change in the government. We have lost our groomed leader. Now we have Mr. Savonarola, a leader from the event, which has been thrown at us. We were in a war with uh, Castile and Aragon and that uh, on the French side and that conflict was brutal. Now the Pope was on the French side, now the Pope is on uh, Britain's side as the French have begun a new war. And this means we will most likely fight the Pope ourselves soon enough as they get weakened by our enemies. Now we are going to move into the central Italy state. As you can see, it encompasses the majority of what we need to recreate Italy. And we are going to form the Italian nation, as it's a very good uh, state with great ideas. Now we need uh, Milan, Modena, Verona, Mantua, Siena, Rona, Roma, of course, and Ancona. Now Siena is right here, so we're going to take it. Ancona is here, so this is a target. Mm, what else? Milan, Mod mm, Verona, of course, and Modena, Mantua. So these four are in the Roman Empire, Holy Roman Empire for the time being. And they are, of course, targets of our future invasions. Uh, which will take a moment, but we will get them. Now, with that being said, we are going to take uh, Ancona, obviously for ourselves in this conflict and then move on and see what's going to happen next. It would be nice to take uh, Napoli 
Oh, uh, this treatment is done with, so we can engage in war against these people. And clergy demand provinces again. Oh, clergies. 